exhausting me and then I um, have received a note on my door that uh, like the previous day so yesterday that there was a package delivered for me and my mom had told me that she was gonna send me a present well it was supposed to like arrive last week so I thought like okay I'll just go get it because it's close to my acting class and then I'll leave a little early so I left at 5 and action class starts at 6 and it's supposed to be 20 minutes to like downtown and then it was 10 minutes to um, to acting class so I was like okay that will give me like half an hour give or take to like pick up the package or do a traffic and then I was stuck in traffic for 45 minutes but the FedEx office closes at 6 and then I was still stuck like three blocks away and I had eight minutes left to get to, to like the FedEx store before it was six. So I <laughs> actually said, okay, you can just drop me here. And then I jumped out of the car, ran to FedEx, got there like three minutes before closing time, got my package, and it was a chocolate letter. And I was so excited. And they made me a little cute rhyme to kind of really read it because like the color of the letters are very close to the oh she sent me a bag of these paper notes or two but I'm not gonna be needy so I'm already very happy with my chocolate letter and it broke I think it was supposed to be an S but it broke on the way I'm gonna try and mend it and see if uh, it can fit together but then I um, was late for acting class and I really really hate being late to those kinds of things because you need to like show you I have like a mosquito bite now it's all red over here because I really don't like to be late for these things because I might possibly like want to make my career out of this and then if I be, like come in late and then maybe it would like they think that would be like a personal like a weakness that I'm always late because it's like only my fourth class or so so it was 20 minutes late and I ran in and I just sat down and he was like, calm down Sophie, you're not in trouble or anything. Just take your time and breathe. And then there were like actually two girls who were even later than me, so I was like, okay. And now I'm back and I had really, really, really much fun. It was like, it was super, super fun what we have done today. And um, also like really nice, the people are really nice too, so maybe I can like get some friends out of them while I'm still here. But now I have like a really bad headache. I don't know why it just like came up in the in the car. So I'm gonna make some food. Maybe it's because I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna make some food, maybe an apple or something, and my chocolate. And watch the llamas, cause I need humor. Actually, I almost watch like I only really like the seasons where like they have Tel Beck on Jeroen van Koningsbrugge, Ruben van der Meer, Ruben Nicolai. And that's like only three seasons, so the other five seasons, four or five seasons are like with other guys, but then there are like a few missing. But they make like the dream team. But I'm gonna start anyway, because I need, I need Dutch humor in my daily life. I need it. I need it! <laughs> Armani exchange party, but the traffic sucks, so it's taking years. I'm very excited. Oh my god.
taco. How cool is that? There's, there's my drink. <laughs> Being held for me like I'm a princess. So I'm waiting in line for the bathroom right now. The party's already over. I just really need to go to the bathroom. The store's empty, as you can see. I really need to go and then I can go home and I think I need to do my Spanish as well but I don't really want to do that. We'll see. So it's lunch time and um, as you saw we had bagels for Petra's birthday so I just went to McDonald's and got an ice cream and a Diet Coke so I was not very hungry. Really nice to have like a Dutchy kind of ice cream because I've really missed soft ice. It's amazing! Sitting on Lincoln Road by the way. The little there's my Diet Coke. Nice and warm outside, that's good. Good morning, or morning, afternoon. It's around 12 30. I'm sick. I don't know what happened, but uh, I fell asleep at night or something last night. I woke up around 1 feeling bad as shit. I was so nauseous, and then I think I woke up like 10 more times. So I think I might be having like a stomach flu or something. And my head feels very hot as well. So I stayed home today. I did was that if I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna die, crash and die. And I just woke up. So I don't even know what I'm gonna do now. I'm not hungry at all. So maybe I'm gonna sleep a little more. I hope it gets better tonight. I don't want to spend my whole weekend in bed. So I'm gonna go to the beach. We'll see. Let's hope this gets better first. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I'm still in bed. It's now Saturday night. I'm feeling a little bit better. But, I don't know what I have, it sucks, and I'm dead, and I'm tired, and I tried to do some things for school, but it's not very working, so I'm back to watching the llamas and eating carrots, hoping that it, I'm like on the orange stuff today, it's like some drink, it's pretty good. And then my little baby carrots, so I can at least get some vitamins into my system. And hopefully tomorrow I can do something more for school, or maybe go for a little walk or something. Maybe that will make me more fit. I'll be fine at some point. Good afternoon. I'm feeling a little bit better today. So I moved from my bed to the couch. And I'm sitting here with the window open. It's very, very cold. Well, not like hot and cold where it's snowing and stuff, but it's like 15, 16 degrees. So when I walked outside to do my laundry because I didn't have any clean pajamas anymore since I've been wallowing in my bed for three days, I didn't have any clean stuff. so I tried to do laundry and it was kind of okay and so I washed my bag and there's still some left that I couldn't put in the dryer so that's now hanging there to dry and then now I will watch this final well this episode from the llamas because I think it's so absolutely hilarious then I'll take a shower get my clothes from the dryer and maybe walk to the store because I wanted to uh, mop my floor in my bedroom but we didn't have any mop things left 
So I need to get those. I ran out of avocados. So I'm gonna get those. I want a new candle. I need to ask Bobby if she wants something. New bread, maybe. New fruit. I ran out of a lot of things again. And I also did a little bit of Spanish yesterday. I finished my monthly report and my Peru courses, which I sent to my teacher. So I need to wait for her to get back to me if they are approved or not. And then I can write my motivational letter and um, update my resume. Yeah, my resume. And then I can send it to the school and then everything will be fine on time. I need to like, do my visa, but that will be okay. So I'm already exhausted from like talking for two minutes, so I'm gonna continue watching my show, my shower, get my laundry, walk to the store before it's dark. Because the dark makes me depressed. I look horrible. Well, I just came back from Publix. <coughs> Well, I actually ate as well. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have gone. It was way too far. And I'm so tired right now. And my the bags which I took with me were so heavy because I have milk and a few bottles of like crystal beer sort of thing. And I had to walk all the way from Publix back. And now I'm so tired. But I did have some nice tomato soup and some bread. And I ate this, like 250 calories. And you know, and sometimes when <clears throat> life gives you lemons, you need to eat a Twix. New slogan, great. So I'm gonna go and watch a little bit of YouTube. Then I need to make my video, and I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully I will be fit and ready tomorrow because I don't like it when I'm like super tired at work. But yeah, thank you all for watching again and then I'll see you <coughs> next week, hopefully in a better state than I am now.